Hey guys, it's me. Um, it's been so long since I last did a video for you guys, so I wanted to go ahead and do one today. Um, it's probably going to be random, just um, I wanted to take a kind of update on you guys and um, what? Give an update for you guys. What am I saying? Anyway, uh, so I just wanted to kind of sh show you a couple things and make some sounds for you guys and um, fill you in on what's been going on. Um, I am out in my living room right now. As you can see, this is the kitchen behind me, but um, my cat Cleo is out and about, so if you hear some random noises, that's what that is. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to jump right in. Um, so since my last video that I made, I think it was like four months ago maybe, um, it was a while ago. Oh, by the way, sorry, quick tangent. I am kind of giving, getting a little over a cold right now, so my voice is a little wonky. Um, I do apologize, but anyway. Um, so in... I think one of my last videos, maybe the Q&A, I talked about how I was applying to grad school. Well, I did get accepted, so I am um, in a program right now, um, going part-time for my master's while working full-time. So I am a busy girl right now, but so far I'm really liking it. Um, the program it started in August, so I've already finished one semester. I'm on the second semester. Um, and then I'll be close to about halfway done. It'll take me about two years to complete it since I'm going part-time. But so far I'm really liking that. It's, it's challenging, but in a good way. Um, some other exciting news is I... Um, I know I'm like pretty open about it on my channel, I'm kind of about my personal life, but I am dating someone and I really want you guys to meet him. I think, um, I think he would be amazing for ASMR and I keep trying to get him to make a video with me. Um, he says he will, so we'll see, but maybe you guys can encourage him a little bit more, but um, he knows all about my channel and he's watched a couple of my videos. He was very supportive about it, so um, it's pretty cool. He's a really good guy. Um, what else? Oh, I went to the Dominican Republic with my mom um, last month, so it was in December. So I got this cool bottle opener. I have a couple things next to me that I'll be tapping on and making different noises and sounds. Um, my nails, I've been doing really well with this, but I've been trying to keep my nails painted. So I've been using a lot of gel nail polishes. So I have um, in this makeup bag, I have all of the gel polishes that I've been kind of, sorry, I've been kind of using. So I'll go through some of these. This is the one I'm wearing right now. It's OPI Infinite Shine. If you can see. And the color is in unequivocally crimson. This is what it looks like. They're really glossy. 
and I've noticed that they last about a week before they start chipping. So I can get about two weeks out of them um, where they look pretty decent, which is really good for just doing them yourself. I also really like this color. It's a really pretty uh, pale pink. This one's called Pretty Pink Perseveres. how long it's been since I've last made a video. I miss you guys. Cleo is right by my feet making noises. She'll probably pop up at some point. Um, this is another color that I've really been liking. Called Raisin the Bar. It's like a really pretty burgundy kind of like wine color. So. And I really like these because um, they are gel polishes, but you don't need any sort of um, like solar or UV solar or UV light or um, anything special to remove the polish afterwards. I know some gel polishes are, can be really tricky. You need like pure acetone to remove them and foil, but with these, just regular nail polish remover works. This is the last color I have for OPI. It's a really deep purple. It almost looks black on the nails. Um, and this color is I'll Have a Manhattan. There's a plane going by right now. I live pretty close to the airport, so lots of that in my, my videos. So with the OPI polishes, first you use this um, base coat here, and then you apply two coats of the color, and then you use this clear coat on top. The bottle is black, but it does come out clear. So I have really been liking those, and then I've tried um, some of the Essie polishes, which I really like the bottles because they're like, they like spiral, which is cool. This is an Essie polish, and I don't know if the camera will pick up on this, but it has like really pretty, like a purple shimmer to it and it's absolutely gorgeous on the nails. And the other color I have is this one. Oh, this color is Pearls of Wisdom. And this one is called Spiked with Style. This is like another burgundy um, wine color. I definitely want to get more of these gel polishes. Um, ever since I've been using them, I haven't been using regular nail polish. These ones just last so much longer and they apply really nicely.
And with these, I use my own base coat with them. I don't think there is a base coat with this, but they do have um, a top coat and it's just a white bottle. So those are all of my gel polishes. Put them in this makeup bag. scratching my couch. Okay, so I'm just gonna put these back. Oh. She, she's like weaving in and out of the tripod. Oh god. I need a bigger makeup bag to put these in because I don't think it zips shut. Um, one of the other things that I wanted to show you, I use uh, makeup wipes to remove the makeup on my face and take out um, or take off any of the eye makeup I'm wearing, but. Recently, I've been trying these um, Yes to Tomatoes Clear Skin Detoxifying Charcoal Facial Wipes. Um, I've really been liking these. It is weird. Um, the actual wipes are black. So it is a little weird because you can't really see like what you're taking off. And they kind of smell a little funky. But I've really been liking them. And I like the crinkly package it comes in. One of the things I forgot to mention, I can't believe I, I forgot this, my sister had her second baby. So now I'm an, um, I'm an aunt of three, two from my sister and um, two little girls, and then my brother has a little boy. So um, it's crazy, but I know, I think I've talked about my niece, um, Sophia on my channel before, but now she's the big sister, and they are absolutely beautiful, and I was so excited to spend Christmas with them this year, um, watch both of them get all excited. Cleo, stop. I'm sorry. Um, maybe I can show you guys Cleo, but she's getting so big now. So I got her in June, and at the time she was six weeks old, I want to say. Oh my gosh, she's so big now. She's so sassy. Prep 
hope so you can see her. <laughs> oh. Okay. Goodbye. <laughs> well, she's right here still. She's a cutie. She normally sleeps with me every night. She's very snuggly, but she's getting to the age where she likes to do more things on her own and be by herself. So I feel like a sad mom watching her teenage girl grow up. Yeah, this is what my life has become too. So clearly you guys aren't missing a whole lot. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I, I've just been so busy with school and, and work and everything, but I want to get back into making more videos because I miss you guys so much. Um, but yeah, there was a couple more things I was going to show you guys, but I'll, I'll save it for another video. My voice is starting to go and my throat's starting to hurt. <laughs> but I love you guys so much and thank you for sticking around. Um, and stay tuned for my next video and leave in the comments below if you want to uh, see a boyfriend uh, what see <laughs> see a video with my boyfriend in it um, and yeah hopefully that'll give him some encouragement <laughs> all right bye guys love you thank you so much